When I became party leader and Taoiseach back in June 2017, I knew that one part of leadership is knowing when the time has come to pass on the baton to somebody else and then having the courage to do it. That time is now. So I am resigning as president and leader of Fine Gael effective today and will resign as Taoiseach as soon as my successor is able to take up that office. I've asked our party general secretary and executive council to provide for the new leader to be elected in advance of the Ardesh on Saturday, April 16th, thus allowing a new Taoiseach to be elected when the Dáil resumes after the Easter break. I know this will come as a surprise to many people and a disappointment to some, and I hope at least you will understand my decision. I know that others will, how shall I put it, cope with the news just fine. That is the great thing about living in a democracy. There's never a right time to resign high office. However, this is as good a time as any. Budget 2024 is done. Negotiations have not yet commenced on the next one. The institutions of the Good Friday Agreement are working again, and our trading relationship with the UK in the post-Brexit era is settled and stable. The new Taoiseach will have a full two months to prepare for the local and European elections, and up to a year before the next general election. My reasons for stepping down are both personal and political. I believe this government can be re-elected, and I believe my party, Fine Gael, can gain seats in the next Dáil. Most of all, I believe the re-election of this three-party government would be the right thing for the future of our country, continuing to take us forward, protecting all that's been achieved and building on it. But after careful consideration and some soul-searching, I believe that a new Taoiseach and a new leader will be better placed than me to achieve that. To renew and strengthen the team, to focus our message and policies, to drive implementation. And after seven years in office, I don't feel I'm the best person for that job anymore. There are loyal colleagues and good friends contesting local European elections, and I want to give them the best chance possible. And I think they have a better chance under a new leader. I am standing aside in the absolute confidence that the country and the economy are in a good place and that my colleagues in government from all three parties, Fine Gael, Fianna Fáil and the Greens and the Oireachtas, will continue to work hard for the nation's best interests. On a personal level, I've enjoyed being Taoiseach, leader and a cabinet member since March 2011. I've learned so much about so many things, met so many people who I'd never got to meet, been to places I would never have seen both home and abroad and I am deeply grateful for it. And despite the challenges, I would wholeheartedly recommend a career in politics to anyone who's considering it. However, politicians are human beings and we have our limitations. We give it everything until we can't anymore, and then we have to move on. I will, of course, continue to fulfill my duties as Taoiseach until a new one is elected and will remain as consistency TD for Dublin West. I know inevitably there will be speculation as to the quote-unquote real reason for my decision. These are the real reasons. That's it. I have nothing else lined up. I have nothing in mind. I have no definite personal or political plans. But I'm really looking forward to having the time to think about them. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my party, my college and partners, particularly Michal and Eamon, my constituents, colleagues and staff for their loyalty and their phenomenal work, and I'm going to thank them all in person in the near future. Most of all, I want to finish by thanking the people of Ireland for giving me the opportunity to serve them, and I promise I'll keep working for Ireland and my community in any way I can in the future. Thank you very much.